Almost every company that uses Kubernetes today uses Helm. This course is for developers and DevOps engineers who have good work experience with Kubernetes and for all those students who have completed my DevOps and AWS course for microservice developers. This is Bharat Tipiredi. I'm a software architect and best-selling instructor. We will start this course by learning what Helm is and how it makes Kubernetes releases easy. You will understand the fundamentals of Helm starting with charts, templates, configurations and repositories. You will then install Helm on your machine and do your very first Kubernetes release in seconds. You will learn how to use the Helm command line to do installations and upgrades to the Kubernetes cluster using existing Helm charts to start with. In the process, you will learn how to pass custom configuration values during installations and upgrades. You will then learn the Helm release workflow and use advanced commands to do dry runs, inspect the manifests that are sent to the Kubernetes cluster, access the release information and history, and even do rollbacks when things don't go as expected. You will then move on to create your very first Helm chart, understand the folders and files that make up a chart. You will master the Google Go templating syntax used in the Helm templates to customize the templates which will control the way installations and upgrades are done to the Kubernetes cluster. You will also learn how to find errors and debug the templates using Helm command line. You will add dependencies to your charts, pass values from one chart to another chart as well. You will understand the lifecycle hooks and configure your own hooks. You will run Helm tests to ensure that the installations and upgradations are happening as expected to the cube cluster. You will package your charts and push them to chart repositories so that they can be shared with others. You will learn the different ways in which a repository can be hosted. You will host it using a web server on your machine. You will host it publicly using GitHub pages and also you will use the OCI registry. In the process, you will master the various Helm repository commands. You will also secure your charts using signatures and hashes. Last but not the least, you will apply all the knowledge you have gained from the course and work on a small use case.